Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are going to make cut out sourdough sugar cookies. These are so soft and tender and they are just perfect for the holidays. You are going to love that you'll be able to use your sourdough discard in another baking recipe and it won't go to waste. So if you want to learn how to make my favorite sourdough cut out sugar cookies, stay tuned and let's get started. First, we're going to start with the wet ingredients. You'll want to use a hand mixer or a stand mixer to cream the butter and sugar together until it's light and fluffy. Then you will add the egg and the vanilla extract and beat that until it is incorporated. Now it's time to add your sourdough starter. And it's always a good idea to make sure that these ingredients are at room temperature before you mix them so that they will blend more easily. Once you have your wet ingredients incorporated, it's time to add the flour and the salt. So just put that in the bowl and use the mixer again to get that incorporated, but don't over mix the batter. Go ahead and get a spatula and scrape down the sides of the bowl and continue to incorporate the dough until it's just mixed together. Now you're gonna to want to divide the dough into two pieces. Next, you're gonna take those two pieces and you're going to put each one between two pieces of wax paper. And we're going to use a rolling pin that has a quarter inch guide on it to roll the dough out evenly between the wax paper. Once you have it nice and evenly rolled out, you wanna stack those on top of each other onto a baking sheet and place it into the fridge to chill for a minimum of two hours. You can let this chill in the fridge for up to 48 hours if you wanna get some extra fermentation on your dough. So once you're ready to bake, you'll work with one uh, sheet of dough at a time. So you want to take that sheet of dough out of the fridge and peel the bottom piece of wax paper off of the dough to release it, then put it back onto the wax paper, peel the top off, and then you can start cutting out your shapes. Now you can put about eight to 10 cookies per sheet. You want to leave a little bit of space so that they bake nice and evenly. If you find that your dough is coming to room temperature too quickly, after you cut your shapes out, you can stick that tray back in the fridge to firm back up before you pop it in the oven. So once they're ready to go, you want to bake the cookies for about 11 to 12 minutes in a 350 degree oven. You don't want to over bake these cookies and you want the bottoms and the edges to be just barely turning golden brown when you remove them. Once you do remove them, let them cool right on the baking sheet before transferring them to a cooling rack and always let them cool completely before you decorate them. Some tips that I find helpful are, first of all, always use room temperature ingredients when you're making sugar cookies. That will allow the butter and sugar and cream, everything to cream up together and be really, really easy to incorporate. And that way you don't over mix the dough. If you over mix the dough, you'll get a flatter, more crispy type of cookie. So you only wanna mix it until it's just incorporated. I like to use either a silicone baking mat or a piece of parchment paper on my baking sheet when I'm baking sugar cookies. And this will make sure that they don't stick to the sheet and also that the bottom of the cookie stay nice and light. Uh, which brings me to my next tip is that I always use a light colored baking sheet. If you use a dark metal baking sheet, the bottom of your cookies will come out darker. Once you have these baked, you can see that the Cookies are very, very even, and they held their shape perfectly. And you can see the bottom of it is nice and even colored with the rest of the cookie. It's just barely a golden brown, and that's what you're looking for. Now, this year we are going a little bit more simple on our cookie decorations. You can decorate these cookies with royal icing. If you want to use royal icing, I have a lot of tutorials on my YouTube channel that 
show how to decorate penguins and candy canes and different types of Christmas cookies, you need to allow at least 24 hours for them to dry. If you do want to use royal icing, so take that into account. But I have another little trick for you. This year, I went easy on myself and I picked up a jar of white pre-made frosting. And the reason why I got white is so that I could use food coloring to make the different colors that I wanted to use to decorate my cookies. The good thing about this type of frosting is that it crusts over. So it, once the, the top of the, the icing dries, they're really, really easy to transport. So all I did was just picked out some sprinkles and spread a little bit of the icing on there, put on the sprinkles, and that was it. So I really hope that you enjoy this recipe for sourdough cut out sugar cookies. I know your family's going to love them. And again, it's a great way to use your sourdough discard. So until next time, bye.